DxO quick tutorials here and I want you to take a look at what's going on here. Currently I am erasing a, an object from a uh, railroad trussle. And uh, I want to start in the middle here because I want to show you what happens. Basically I have brought up the erase and once you have made your erase, because you're going to make your erase, I'll show you what I did, like any other uh, eraser. You're, you're going to brush it on. But unlike others where it just finds it for you and, and replaces those pixels or something else, you can see this is the original erase right here. And DxO tells you, it points a line to where it is taking those pixels from. So you can, after the fact, decide what you want there. And then you have your feathering. You'll have to give it a second. That allows you to... more control over over what you're seeing to try to make a more natural look. Now, I'll show you what was there before because we can change our opacity. So you can just, after you've already done it, you can see, you can change how things look. I'll change the opacity and you can see there used to be a, a, a little man light there, a little construction light there that I got rid of. And I simply just brought up this repair and uh, painted it out with this size very simply as you would paint anything and uh, at opacity oops let's get rid of that uh, at opacity 100 and we'll give it a second to disappear And so you can see it's taking it from uh, from right up here. We can go ahead and anytime you can just grab this if you wanted to take it from somewhere else. Say we want to take it from right over here. And then you have uh, that look. Say we want to take it from right over here. And then you have that look. <laughs> say you want to take it from right over here. And then you have something like that. So it becomes a kind of a clone and stamp type thing, which is very similar. If once we get into the clone and stamp, you can actually reposition and kind of turn your clone and stamp however you want. So we have something like that. And uh, I'm not looking for total, uh, total perfection in this. I'm just going to turn the feathering up to 100. See how that looks. Because, oops, because it is a distance. Because it is from a distance. And uh, mm -hmm. I think about right there, probably. So let's take a look at that. We just back off and it is pretty much gone uh, like I said it, with at a distance like that I'm not so concerned uh, with total realism of course unless it were going to be printed but at this point it's just a it would just be a digital and uh, that is pretty much the uh, erase tool let's just back up and do that again so I reset that. I'm going to take our feathering down here a bit and I'm just going to begin to draw this whole thing out all at once. All in one click, just one hold down one left click because if you don't do it all in one click then it's going to start making several uh, little areas where it's going to ask you where you want to select it from and that becomes kind of a mess. So I'm just going to very sloppily it's, it's all brush anyways so there's no geometric or ge lines going anywhere I need to worry about. I'm just going to get all this stuff here 
in one click. Just hold that down the whole time. And I think I got it all. And so let's back up. And you can see it saying, hey, why don't we take a little piece of this area here and make that your cover? And I can take my feather and take a look at that and say, okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. I could dig that. That might work. But if I don't like that, I still got this little pole sitting up here. We can deal with that later. If I don't like that, I can say, hey, I got a better idea. Why don't we take something like this up here and put that there? What do you think of that? So let's back up. That's not bad. But why don't we just uh, let's really just lose the lose uh, the use lose the users the lookers eyes the watchers eyes and like replace it with something like this here. That's fairly natural, and you can uh, adjust the feather. Now I wonder if that is a glitch because when I adjusted the feathering on that, you can see it came back. So let's back up. There he goes again. Interesting. When I backed off the feathering, it reappeared. Let's see. I'll try it again here. We'll adjust the feathering on that. Yeah, that looks pretty uh, in the distance there. So, yeah, that looks pretty realistic. I can get by with that. And you can see a little bit. I don't know about that. Let's, let's raise it up. Some interesting artifacts there. So let's just move. I don't know where it's getting those red tones. Let's just put a little more green in there, see what happens. I said, okay, well, they, I might go with that. So you can see how everything you, uh, everything, everything is just completely manipulated. And you can just manipulate everything. Manipulatable. And you can see how I just, that looks pretty natural right there. Uh, I'm not going to say it's the best repair tool in the world. I'm just going to hit re return and make those permanent. I'm not going to say it's the best repair tool in the world. But look at that. Um, it definitely does offer a lot of avenues that others don't, and that looks pretty darn good. Pretty darn natural once you start to just kind of blends in. If you never knew I did that, it looks pretty natural. Um, and just, you know, of course, depending on the setting and uh, the contrasting and, the, and what is behind it is going to affect that. I'd say one of the best uh, erase tools I've used, I think, is Affinity. Affinity's erase tool is pretty darn good. But that is not bad, and the fact that you can just move your uh, move your image around, move whatever you want to replace that, is very very powerful feature. I hope this has helped you guys. I hope it wasn't too uh, too long, too sloppy. Uh, we got through it, and I'll see you next time.